Well, hello and welcome. Let's dive a little bit deeper into this screen recording process. And so now you have your feet wet, you've gotten a little bit of taste of what it's like to record a little bit of video, but now you've seen just one aspect of creating video. There are hundreds, if not thousands of ways to create video, to publish that video, to edit that video, the possibility with video is endless. It's such an exciting and engaging media. There's a big reason why there's so much money in television and in movies. It's because video is very powerful. It speaks to our emotions. There are a lot more ways to use it effectively to create good sales training, to create good sales videos, and you can use it for a plethora of other projects. So let's take a look at what screen recording is. Screen recording is one of the easiest ways to create video because really all you have to have is a microphone and most computers now come with a microphone built in. And the other is some sort of presentation software. And it really doesn't even have to be, you know, PowerPoint or Keynote or, or whatever else. You can use Google Drive. You can even use a Word document. Or you can use TextPad on your computer and just scroll up and down. You can make it as simple as possible. Then you can take the same approach and you can show the back end of a WordPress blog. Or you can walk through different aspects of the web or different programs or whatever else. It's, it's one of the easiest and simple ways to create video and it's also one of the most effective ways to create video and that's the reason why we started with that the quick start guide talks about screen recording the reason I picked that is because it's super easy to get inside get your feet wet and start creating that video now screen recordings can get super fancy but really they don't have to be some of the best projects out there are just simple screen recordings look at this for example I'm just presenting a keynote presentation and recording my voice that is super simple it's easy to do it doesn't require awesome graphics it doesn't require sweet animations and awesome music beds and everything else all it requires is a microphone and recording that actual video. Take a couple of notes and you're good to go. It also has huge return on investment. And the biggest reason is, is because most people are visual. If they're not, they're either auditory or they prefer to read. So in this instance, I'm covering every type of learning. You have video, which you see on the screen. You have my voice and you also have my talking points on the screen. So I'm covering all three aspects. Now, not so much to the reading learning style, but the other two learning styles are very powerful. That's why video is very, very powerful. If you show the back end of a WordPress plugin that you've designed or some sort of marketing training or whatever it may be, you take and you show that via video, most people are going to get more out of it because they can actually watch you do it. They see the process and it breaks it down for them. It makes it super simple. So that's one of the reasons why it has huge ROI. And we kind of touched on this before, but it's super simple to set up and then to edit and share it. We did that in the quick start guide. The more of these you do, the faster you get at it. The other aspect is to keep it simple. By keeping it simple, you actually get more out of it. You can create more projects, more training, more different products by creating it simple, making it easy for you and for your viewer. So let's take a look at screen recordings versus webinars. Both are very good. Both have a lot of pros and cons and we'll take a look at some of those screen recordings are taped they can be edited very easily they have a lot less stress if you are scared of being in front of a microphone or you're scared of being live a screen recording is very good for that it's a great place to start it's super easy to set up to get going you know and you it doesn't require a lot of software now you can spend four hundred dollars on Camtasia but you can also use active presenter which is free and we'll get to that in the next slide it's a great place to start it's also shorter and it's in bite-sized pieces meaning it's really good for training and what that does is that allows your viewer to watch in his or her leisure so if they don't have time to watch a four-hour webinar or a four-hour training from end to end 
they can then watch it in seven minute segments or eight minute segments or however you decide to break it up. It makes it easier to consume and it seems a lot less demanding if you watch 47 minute videos versus watching a two and a half hour presentation from beginning to end. Now webinars are the opposite of screen recordings to a certain extent. They are live which also means you have live feedback. You have the ability to engage your audience. And so they can ask questions. They can get in there. You can see your presentation, the impact of your presentation live and on the screen. And you can't really edit a webinar. Like I said, it's live. So you can post edit. And we'll kind of talk about that later on in the training. And actually what you can do is you can take a webinar and have the live webinar and then take that recording and put it into a screen recording and chop it up into little bits. We do that a lot. Webinars are longer and they're also a lot more flexible. What I mean by that is, is if you have a question on a webinar, you can answer it live. You can look up the answer or you... You can explain the answer, you can show your screen, you can do all that live. Whereas with the screen recording, it's really just content that you've come up with, questions that you've anticipated, and then you can always add to that later whenever you get help desk request or whatever it may be. It gives you the ability to go live and to have those live questions and be able to answer those live on the air. All right, so that is a few of the differences between screen recording and webinars. And we'll cover webinars a little bit more in depth later. If you've never heard of a webinar, don't worry, we'll get to that as well.